Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to evaluate functions. Okay, let's start. To evaluate functions, all we have to do is to substitute and simplify. Okay, ganun lang kadali. Let me show you how. Okay, so let's have these four examples first. Okay, so first function, we have f of x equals 3x minus 5. Okay, by the way, what kind of function is this? This one is a linear function. Why is that? Kasi kapag sinek ninyo yung variable natin dito, ang pinakamataas na exponent niya ay 1. Okay, so kapag ganon, you do have a linear function. Okay, let's now evaluate. Let's find f of 2. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Yung x, pinalitan ng 2. So, yung lahat ng x na nakikita mo dito, papalitan mo lang ng 2. Kaya nga, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, we substitute like this. Okay, so we have 3 times 2. So, I replaced x here by 2. And then minus 5. After substitution, we perform the indicated operations and then we simplify. What is 3 times 2? We get 6. So, we have 6 minus 5 here. And what is 6 minus 5? We get? 1. Yeah? So, f of 2 is equal to 1. So, it's very easy to evaluate functions. Let's try number 2. Okay, again. Okay, what kind of function is k of a? k of a is an absolute value function. Why? Kasi ito, ito yung nagsisignify ng absolute value. Two vertical bars. Okay? So, our k of a is equal to the absolute value of a minus 2. Now we get k of negative 9. Okay, so how do we do that again? We substitute. We replace a here by negative 9. So it will look like this. Okay, the absolute value of negative 9 minus 2. And what do we know about getting absolute values? Nagiging non-negative yung number. So itong negative 9 magiging positive 9. You see? Okay? So, what is 9 minus 2? We get 7. Let's now have number 3. Again, what kind of function is this? Kita nyo ba yung variable? Anong exponent niya? 1. So, definitely, this one is a linear function. We get P of 2A. So, yung A na nakikita nyo dito, papalitan lang natin ng 2A. So, we substitute like this. Okay, so what is negative 4 times 2a? Recall your algebra. What do you get? You will have negative 8a. So, like this. So, you have negative 8a minus 2. And then, you recall factoring. Pwede yung i-factor out ang negative 2. Kasi ito may negative 2 dito. Ito rin may negative 2. If you factor out negative 2, what do you get? Okay. Kapag tinanggal ko ang negative 2 dito, magiging positive 4a. Dito naman, pag kinuha ko ang negative 2, pinactor out ko yung negative 2, magiging plus 1. That's why we have this. You see? Okay, so ito yung value or ito yung expression ng inyong p of 2a. Right? Okay. What about number 4? Sige nga, what kind of function is number 4? If you look at the variable, Ang exponent na ngayon ay 2. Okay? Kasi kung 1, linear function yan. What about if the exponent is 2? What do you call this function? This one is a quadratic function. Okay? Now we get g of negative 2. Okay? We simply substitute negative 2 to this variable t. Okay? So what do we have? Like this. Okay? Yung buong negative 2 ang nakasquare. Kasi yung t dito, yung naka-square, ano bang ipapalit natin sa t? Negative 2. So, yung buong negative 2 ang naka-square. Okay? So, what is negative 2 squared? You'll have 4. So, that's why we have this. Okay? What is 4 minus 2? It's 2. Let's have more examples here. Number 5 is, again, a linear function. Yeah? Okay. Sige nga. What is the value of W of negative 1? Let's do it. We replace N here by negative 1. Like this. Okay. So what is negative 1? 
minus 1. You see, kapag pareho ng sign, di ba, pareho silang negative, you simply add them. What is 1 plus 1? 2. And then you copy the sign. It's negative. So that's why the answer is negative 2. What about number 6? Okay, medyo kakaiba itong number 6 na ito. Okay, ano kayang classing function ito? If you see this symbol, okay, this function is a greatest integer function. There are other symbols used to signify greatest integer function. Okay, ang ilan sa mga alam ko is like this. Okay, single square brackets. Okay, so next, pwede rin ganito ang itsura ng greatest integer function. Okay, meron din ganito ang ginagamit. Okay, at meron din ganito. So, it depends kung anong reference material ang ginagamit niyo. Okay? Basta alam niyo kung ano yung greatest integer function, you're good. Okay? It doesn't matter kung anong symbol ang gamitin. Alright? Okay. So, paano ba mag-evaluate ng greatest integer function? So, let's say we evaluate um, 9.3. F of 9.3. So, we replace x here by 9.3. Like this. Okay? So, how do we get the greatest integer value of 9.3? Ganito lang yon. You try to find 9.3. Okay? Like this. Okay? Alam natin na ang 9.3 is between 9 and 10. Okay? To get the greatest integer value of 9.3, you always round down. Okay? Round down. So, yung mas maliit na integer value ang kukunin ninyo. So, yung 9.3, between 9 and 10, you get the lower integer value, which is 9. Okay? So, yan ang greatest integer value ng ating 9.3. So, that's why this one, this expression becomes 9 minus 3. Okay? Ito. Yung value nito is equal to 9. So remember, when you're looking for the greatest integer value, you always round down. Okay? So what is 9 minus 3? It's 6. Let's continue. What about number 7? Obviously, this one is a linear function. Let's evaluate f of 2x plus 3. Okay? So again, ang ginagawa ulit dito, yung x dito, kita nyo, pinalitan ng 2x plus 3. So, yung x dito, papalitan lang natin ng 2x plus 3. Okay? Like this. Kita niya? Okay? So, I replaced x by 2x plus 3. And then, we perform the operations and then simplify. Okay? What is 4 times 2x? We get 8x. Right? What is 4 times 3? We get 12. Okay? And then, I copied negative 5 here or minus 5. Yeah? Okay, and then finally, we simplify. Okay, we have 8x plus, what is 12 minus 5? 7. So, this is our final answer. Ito yung f of 2x plus 3. Let's have more exercises here. Okay, but this time, yung evaluation of functions given. Okay, we're going to check kung tama ba or mali yung pag-evaluate niya. Okay, let's have number 1. This is the given function, f of t equals 2t minus 3. Linear function, right? We're going to get f of t squared. So, anong gagawin? Papalitan ko lang itong t na to by t squared. Tama kaya yung solution? Ang f of t squared is equal to 2t squared minus 3. Okay? So, ito daw yung f of t squared. And what do you notice? Tama. Okay, what about number two? This is the given function. What kind of function is this? Okay, you see, there is a radical sign. So this is clearly a radical expression. So this function is a radical function. And then we're going to find g of 9. How do we do that? So substitute natin yung 9 dito sa x na ito. Okay, sige nga, check natin kung tama. G of 9 is equal to square root of 5 times 9, tama naman, no? Minus 13. So, tama siya sa part na to. Okay, next. What is 5 times 9? 45. 
minus 13. Tama pa rin. What is 45 minus 13? You will get 32. Pero pagdating natin dito sa last line, malito. Okay? Kasi yung 32, that's 16 times 2. So, dapat yung 16 nasa loob nitong square root sign. Pero nasa labas siya, o. Oh, kaya, malito. Okay? So, kung mali yan, ano yung tamang way? Ano yung tamang um, solution? Ganito. Yung 16, ilalagay nyo muna sa loob. Dapat kasi nasa loob siya. So, you'll have square root of 16 times 2. Like this. Okay? Nasa loob muna yung 16. Okay? And then, what is square root of 16? 4. Okay? Tapos, yung 2 may iwan sa loob. So, eto yung G of 9. 4 square root of 2. Ito yung tamang solution. Let's try this third function here. Okay? Sige nga, anong klaseng function ang ating f of x dito? Nakita nyo? Fraction siya, no? Okay? You have a polynomial in the numerator and you have another polynomial in the denominator. If you have like this, this is what you call a rational function. Okay? And then we're going to find the value of the function if x is replaced by negative 3. Okay, so iti-check lang natin kung tama ito. Sige nga, f of negative 3. So yung mga x dito, papalitan ko ng negative 3. Okay, check naman tong unang line. Okay, let's move on to the second line. What is 5 times negative 3? Negative 15. Tapos yung negative 7, kinopya lang naman dito. Okay. What is 3 times negative 3? You will get negative 9. Okay? Tapos kinopya lang yung minus 2. Okay? So, okay pa dito. Okay? Sa line na to. And then, what is negative 15 minus 7? You will get negative 22. Bakit positive 22 ang nandito? Okay? So, pwede nyo isipin na, ay, shucks, mali ito. Okay? Pero alam nyo ba na tama tong 22 over 11? Kasi kung titingnan nyo yung denominator, what is negative 9 minus 2? You will get negative 11. Actually, ganito ang magiging itsura niya. Sa numerator, you have negative 22. Sa denominator, you have negative 11. And what is negative divided by negative? It's positive. Yeah? Pwede nyo natanggalin yung parehong negative sa numerator at sa denominator. So, ito yung sagot. Positive 22 over positive 11. So, tama pa ito. Okay? Actually, ang mali dyan, yung last line. This one. Because 22 divided by 11 is not equal to negative 2. So, mali. Okay? Dito lang. Dito lang nagkamali. Uh, what is 22 divided by 11? It is equal to 2. Okay? That's the correct answer. What about number 4? Okay? So, here, okay, your f of x is a quadratic function. Okay? And then, we're going to evaluate f of 3x minus 1. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Yung x dito, nakikita nyo ba? Okay? Pinalitan ng 3x minus 1. So, yung mga x dito, papalitan lang natin ng 3x minus 1. Okay? So, let us see. x squared. So, palitan yung x dito ng 3x minus 1. Tama naman. ba? Ito yung x squared. Then, minus 3 times x papalitan yung x dito ng 3x minus 1. Pero, oops, hindi siya pinalitan. So, dito pa lang, mali na kagad. Nakita nyo? Okay, so this one is wrong. Okay? So, ano yung tamang solution? Gagawin natin dito. Okay? So, again, this is the given. This is our f of x. Okay? We're going to evaluate f of 3x minus 1. So, yung x na nakikita nyo dito, papalitan lang natin ng 3x minus 1, like this. And then, we simplify. Okay? Saan ba equal ang 3x minus 1 squared? Okay? So, kung hindi nyo alam ang shortcut, you can always go back to your FOIL method. Okay? Kasi yung 3x minus 1 squared ay equal sa 3x minus 1 times 3x minus 1. So, if you do the FOIL method, First terms, outer terms, inner terms, last terms. Okay? You're going to get this. Okay? And then you collect like terms. You will get negative 3x minus 3x. You will get negative 6x. You'll have this. Okay? So, dyan equal ang 3x minus 1 squared. Okay? But a faster way to 
expand this, itong 3x minus 1 squared is like this. Is square nyo yung first term. So, 3x, tapos is square nyo, that becomes 9x squared. Right? Tapos, yung sunod na term, pag multiply nyo tong dalawang to. What is 3x times negative 1? You'll get negative 3x. Tapos, ita times to nyo. You will have negative 6x. And then finally, is square ninyo itong last term. What is negative 1 squared? You'll get positive 1. Okay? Ito rin yung makukuha ninyo. Okay? So, please recall your algebra. And then after expanding this 3x minus 1 squared, we try to distribute this negative 3 here inside the parentheses. What do we have? Negative 3 times 3x, you'll get negative 9x. And then negative 3 times negative 1, you'll get positive 3. And then you copy plus 5. You're going to have this. Okay? You may want to double check. Okay? And then after that, we collect similar terms or like terms. Ano ulit yun? Yun yung may magkakaparehong variable at exponent. Okay? So, yung x squared, wala naman siyang kapareho dito na x squared. So, kukopyahin na lang natin to. Okay? What about yung mga may x? Negative 6x at saka negative 9x. So, since pareho silang negative, i-add nyo lang sila. So, you'll have 9 plus 6, you have 15x. And then, you copy the sign. Negative 15x. Okay? And then, finally, yung mga walang variable, yung mga constants. So, you'll have 1 plus 3, you get 4, plus 5, you get 9. So, this is going to be the final answer. Okay? So, you may want to double check again. Alright? Lastly, we have this um, function. Sige nga, anong klaseng function naman ito? Okay? Question. Saan nyo nakikita yung variable? Ah, you know, nasan siya? Exponent siya, right? Kapag yung variable nakikita nyo sa exponent, this is what you call an exponential function. Alright? Okay. So, we're going to evaluate this function when x is equal to 4 thirds. So, tingnan natin. So, tama ba? Isa substitute natin dito sa x, 4 thirds. So, we have 3 raised to 4 thirds. Tapos, isusulat natin siya in radical form. So, tama naman, magiging cube root of 3 raised to 4. Okay? Saan equal ang 3 raised to 4? 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And that will give us 81. So, tama pa to dito sa level na to. Okay? What about this line? Tama kaya to? Yeah. Okay? Kasi tinan nyo, 3 times 3, 9. 9 times 3, 27. So, you'll have 27 times 3. Ito siya. Okay? And what is cube root of 27? It is 3. Yeah? Okay. So, maiiwan naman itong 3 dito sa loob. So, that's why the answer is 3 cube root of 3. So, tama to. Since nag-simplify tayo dito ng radical expression, let me teach you a faster way on how to do it. Okay? So, kita nyo tong line na to. So, from cube root of 3 raised to 4, ganito ang gagawin ko. Kita nyo yung base dito, 3. So, maglalagay ako ng base dito sa labas ng ating radical sign at saka yung base din lalagay ko sa loob ng radical sign. And then, ang gagawin ko dun sa exponent, Okay, i-divide ko by the index. Ang index 3. So, what is 4 divided by 3? What is the answer? 1. So, kung ano yung sagot, ilalagay ko siya doon sa labas. Okay? Ngayon, alam natin na ang 4 divided by 3, it is 1 remainder. What is the remainder when I divide 4 by 3? 1 then. So, yung remainder, ilalagay ko naman siya dito sa loob. Like this. Okay? And what is 3 raised to 1? Diba? It's just 3. Okay? Ito rin. 3 lang to. So, you'll have 3 cube root of 3. So, ito na mismo yun. Okay? So, that's how I simplify radical expressions. So, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and 
please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video.